Welcome back to Rocket City. Still on this crazy train right here. We're still doing the doubleheader streak. In this one, we got South Alabama and UAB. Staying in the state of Alabama this entire episode. It's looking like we're out of contention for the college football playoff. Currently sitting at number 16 in the country. But that's all right. We're only a 75 overall team. Two-star prestige. We still got a long way to go to build up this roster. Got to stay locked in too because we have a chance to win the Sun Belt. And usually in my series, when I win a conference championship, that's when we move on to the next level. AKA, we could be seeing ourselves in a bigger conference if we take care of business. It looks like we got a couple of recruits visiting this week. Some high profile guys like Montreal Gordon, wackiest uniform combination yet, bright red pants, white helmet, black shirt. It's getting crazy. Look at the high profile recruits we got visiting this week. Ryan Hawkins, a four star defensive end and a four star corner in Montreal Gordon. We know we need those defensive players. That's why we got them on the list. What a beautiful day for some football. And we're, oh, I thought we got the sack to start the game. But he breaks the tackle and gets four. No way, man. This guy is shedding tackles all over the place in the backfield. Now he goes underneath. I was sticking with the tight end. And that'll move the chains. Whoop, got us. We can't make the tackle. CPU, you step in. There you go. Oh, screen. And we get to him too quickly. Incompletion. That's what I'm talking about. Shutting them down in front of the first down marker. They're electing to not go for the field goal. They're just going to try and get the first down right here. Don't let him scramble. And he scrambles. But we give him a big hit. He's thrown off his back foot. Way behind the line. He's got nothing. Fourth and long. Easy chip shot field goal for him. And they're on the board first. Oh, I gotta break that one. Way out in front of him. Just a tough throw. Let's see, I'm targeting a Wusu here. That's a great route. Right on the line. Now let's establish a running game. That's what I'm talking about. I believe in our lads. Six yards, more than enough. I think I chose the wrong guy. I did indeed. Fourth and five. Might be territory to where we can go for it, though. Get there, Awusu. Oh, right in the pocket. And he's making guys miss. Look at him go. Ever since he stepped foot on campus, he has been the lifeblood of the movement. See him? Way to run out to get him. Josh Merrill uncovered out there. Easy throw for Jeff Beaton. Great drive for the offense. And that's a sack. John Booker, number nine on the season. Everybody's way downfield, and we're going to just collapse on him. What are they doing? Easy stop for the defense. We didn't get the little burst that I thought we could get. I might just run with this one. Slide down, Jeff Beaton. That was nice. Oh, everybody lost their block. Yeah, it's going to be lost at 10. I made it much worse, but I was just astonished. Look at that. One, two, three. <laughs> I saw him open for a second, and that's just a horrid throw. What am I doing out here? What a play from Veggie Smith. Beelining to that running back. He's got to be going underneath with this one. But he's not going to have a chance because we're bringing him down. Great tackling. Another fourth down situation. He kicks it. And he gets it. Seven to six. It's nice moves. Way to sit in the pocket. Great block from Awusu. Josh Merrill's got a huge game. We're doing very well on the ground today. Five or six yards every time it feels like. And he's finally got over a thousand rushing yards. The first time in school history we've had a thousand yard rusher. Oh, he breaks the tackle, but it only gets him a yard. I see Awusu way back there. You gotta cover him, man. 
He's our best player. Been absolutely lethal this year. Whoop, I got absolutely toasted. And this quarterback is running downfield. This is what happens when Drews takes over the, the tackling. Man, embarrassing. Quarterback goes like, what, 80 yards? Don't even want to look at it again. No, it's just him running down the field. That's all we needed to see. They're going for two to try and tie up the game. And we sack him right away. So we're holding on to our lead. I'm not worried, though. I don't think they can keep up with their offensive production. Let me watch this. Lonnie Clayton. Laser. Juke step. There we go. Keep running, Lonnie. This may be your biggest play of the year. And he's all the way gone. Look at that. I told you they cannot keep up with our offense. Breaking the doors open on this game. That was such a slick move from Lonnie. We obviously have so many weapons on this team. It's just hard to decide who to give the ball to every play. And we sack him again. John Booker. Who else? Keep pushing Nicholson. William Newton back-to-back -back sacks. Oh, they're trying to kill the clock. They don't want us to score again. But I'm coming for him. They're going to run the football. Yep. He's actually getting a ton of yards here. What the heck? I might just go short for this one. I'm going to quickly call another timeout. I see A. But he's just going to drag that guy over. Great block. Ryan Brown, if you gave me that other one, we could have been talking six. I see Chris Graham over there. Wow. Just catch it, please. There we go. Two bombs. Loving that left corner. Just running straight. What he does very well. Oh, my goodness. We made him. We definitely disrupted that throw. And that's just an easy interception for T. Denson, who just steps right out of bounds. That might be the freest interception I've ever seen in this game. But now that it is halftime, let's hear from today's NIL sponsor. Felix Gray. As a gaming YouTuber, I sit in front of screens pretty much all day. And as you can imagine, that has many side effects. Some of the most annoying, digital eye strain. I get headaches, I get grogginess, and the blue light from the screens really disrupt my sleep. It really became a problem in my life. But what I found helped tremendously is getting some Felix Gray blue light glasses. So Felix Gray lenses filter 15 times more blue light. And that blue light can make screen time tough on your eyes and disrupt your sleep like I mentioned before. With my line of work, there's really no way for me to avoid looking at screens all day. But with Felix Gray lenses filtering out 15 times more blue light, it helps me maintain a strong sleep schedule even when I'm looking at screens non-stop all day. I don't get headaches when I'm working, no grogginess at all, and my eyes feel great. I personally have the Kepler edition. They look slick. It makes me feel intelligent, accomplished, and distinct. But we all know in reality, I am a dense pinhead moron. That's why we got amazing products like Felix Gray. You can look good and be treating yourself right. Felix Gray offers classic frame styles made from acetate, and they're hand finished for a durable, lightweight, and really comfortable pair of glasses. Blue light lenses are available in non prescription and prescription as well, so they can match you up with the pair that you need. Pick yourself up a pair of blue light glasses today from Felix Gray, where you're actually going to get 10% off your order when you use my code NTE10 at checkout. Once again, do this quickly because this offer is time sensitive. 10% off of Felix Gray with code NTE at checkout. Thanks again to Felix Gray for sponsoring this video. I can just feel the second he kicked this one off, I'm bringing it back. We're not going left this time. We'll go right. Oh, there's a lot more people on the right. Oh, but we got the juke. That was so clean. Go, Chris. Make me look like a freaking mind reader. What an incredible return. That might be the most beautiful one you've ever had. I told you, I can just feel it. Yeah, the juke on that side too. So pretty. Add it to the highlight reel. Oof. This guy is so quick. And they just punch it in straight up the gut. And they are still trying to go for two to try and get back in this game. Oh, and they run this one. And they won't get it. We're just a wall of defenders. Still got a 17-point lead. Let's try and run that back, shall we? What do you want? Up the middle this time? Oh, actually, kind of to the left, but I'll take it. Back-to-back -back returns for Chris Graham. You know, we'll run to the middle just to make it nice and fancy. Yeet! The best returner I have ever seen. Left, right, center, upside down, spin around, doesn't matter. Chris Graham will find his way to the end zone. Fans can't get enough. Games like this are just a party. Get him. There you go, Devin Carter. 
Oh, felt that one. I got one blocker for me. Uh, use that speed, Chris. I believe in you. Still an incredible return. This one's a keeper for Jeff Eaton. Actually, we're going to pitch that at the last second. Josh Merrill, too tall for him. Up the gut, me in the safety, and I bulldoze him down. That was not a touchdown, though. It's fullback time, lads. Here we go. Touchdown. Pin down the safety as well. Have not been stopped on offense in a hot minute. Got to him again. Three sacks on the game for John Booker. I'll take that one. Can we get a return? Nope, we'll just sit down at the midfield logo, and he's tying a school record for interceptions in a season. Way to go, Nate Wright. Oh, spun on a dime. Good blocks. Way to be patient. I know it's only two yards, but that was a pretty good play. Oh, we got the numbers. Step back, it did not work. Look at the fullback, steamrolling ahead. We got all day to throw. Might just go underneath there. Oh, and there was a little bit of crowded traffic, so he drops the pass, but that's all right. We'll take this three-pointer right here. Is it too far for Jacob Harrison? No, it's not. 52 points on the board. Oh, helicopter. I love games like this. Such big blowouts. We got the backups in. They're going to get a little playing time. See what they can do. Nice moves from Cam Miller. The backup's got some juice too. Does he have enough speed? Cam Miller, he does not, but 65 yards on the first play for the backups. I dig that. Yes, taking this one. Definitely should have thrown that away. Oof, another loss. Got it. 55 to 18. A clapping session, as I like to call it. 55 to 18, total beat down. Ton of fun today, and Chris Graham, well deserving of player of the game. He just puts on a show every time he returns the football. Stats on the game, Jeff Eaton, 10 of 13, 247 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. Wayne Fontenelle came in there at the end, four for four, 91 yards. Rushing today, Brandon Ford, 16 attempts for 53 yards. Jeff Eaton, four for 40. Only rushing touchdown was to the fullback. Owusu, of course, led us in receiving today. Three catches, 92 yards, and a touchdown. Lonnie Clayton ripped off an 81-yarder. That was sick. Maybe the best play of his career. Josh Merrill and Chris Graham also got a touchdown. So many sacks today. A total of six. John Booker had three of them. Travis Nicholson had one. Devin Neckroll Carter had one. And William Newton had one. Two picks today. Nate Wright and T. Denson. 268 yards, two touchdowns with a long of 102. Insane in itself, but he's been doing this kind of stuff all year. That very successful game got us an upgrade for head coach Drew Morris. Definitely going to add it to the pipeline one, so I think we can get more pipeline states in the future. Would you look at that? Look how many recruits we got last week. Nick Dorsey, 78 overall. Montreal Gordon, 77. And Curtis Brooks, 75 overall free safety. Highly successful week. Montreal Gordon, four-star. Number eight corner in the country. He looks very good. 94 speed, 84 zone, 84 man. So we can play him in any sort of scheme we want. Great tackler. I'm happy with that. We needed some more corners. Nick Dorsey said he was a receiver, but this guy looks like he can play defense 87 man 85 zone also speedy 94 so we got corners galore coming into rocket city curtis brooks juco free safety he looks solid probably just some depth for us we'll see how our position groups line up in the offseason last game was technically senior day but i forgot to highlight it but it's all right a lot of the seniors we have on the team are guys that have been starters throughout the entire season have made big plays in that game regardless guys like jeff featon lonnie clayton etc anyways just had to mention that because we got to give those seniors the recognition they deserve into traffic and he makes a good pass right at the line good play Ooh, I, didn't, I thought he was going to be able to pitch out of that. Off of his back foot, and he still finds the guy. Third down, they become superhuman. Guy in the middle. Oh, in that corner, too. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown. Well, I knew our defense was an elite. We had one good game, and we're back to our usual selves. Hey, is open. Ryan Brown on the first play. 
We're going underneath. This one's a Chris Graham. Stay in this hurry up. I'm feeling it right now. Draw play. Not much there. There you go. I'm just taking this. They got no QB spies out here. Jeff Eaton with a slower cut. Somebody's on the ground. I can't see who it is. Oh, it looks like Jeff Eaton got hurt. We were just blocked by someone's khakis. So Wayne Fontenot here in the final game of the regular season. Let's try and air it out here on second down. Maybe this is a bad idea for his first play. Yep, he is not warmed up yet. He did not expect to go in the game this early. He's just full sending it. Josh Merrill in the end zone. What a bullet. He's warmed up now. Put that thing on a rope. We certainly hope Jeff Eaton is okay, but I'm glad to see a great throw from Fontenot. Oh, just popped off of us. Oh my goodness. Sometimes these broken tackles are intense. He's still breaking them. Dwayne McBride, statistically one of the best running backs in the country this year. And he's killing us today. 72 yards in the first quarter. Jeff Eaton sprained elbow. He's out for a week. So Wayne Fontenot, this is your game. And Dwayne McBride again. I chose the wrong hole. Here we go, Brandon Ford. Great looking run there. Oh, he got my ankles. Now we gotta punt it. Please tackle him. We gotta go to conservative tackling. He's been just too much for us. Damn, we keep losing on third down. We can't stop him. Screen pass. We got him in the backfield. Still gets it. He has got such quick burst. Oh my god. A violent stiff arm. Got him again. He can't be doing these screen passes on us. We excel at stopping those. Get there. We stopped them just short of it. Will they go for it? Yes, they are. The ball's on these guys. I respect it, though. Makes it way more fun. Keeper for the quarterback. I hit him. We hit him like 40 times, and we finally get to him. Look at one, two, three, four. <laughs> Took four and a half guys. Now that's a turnover on downs. Show us what you got, Wayne. And, oh, you got... Pummeled is what you got. Good pitch. Oh, great block from Awusu. That's what's going to make this a big time play. Triple option game is strong. Could he be gone? Yes, he is. Brandon Ford rips off a big one thanks to Samuel Awusu on the second level blocking him. That was a 90 yard rush for Brandon Ford. Definitely a career long. Maybe one of the longest we'll ever see here at Rocket City. Got him again. Another screen. And right on top of him. Fourth and 25. Scrubs. We got that edge again. If we had a Wusu on that corner, we'd be talking another touchdown. Nice. The running game is here. Just when we needed it, too, with Eaton gone. No, that should have been money. We're just too far in our own zone to go for it here. I know it's fourth and two, but I just don't want to risk that. Gonna make them work for it. Not my best punt. But it is off of his face. Screen. I got blocked. Got blocked again. Please wrap him up. Oh my gosh. The way McBride is insane. Uh, it's just a bad tackle attempt by me. Nothing new in this series, though. If you've been watching this far, you know how bad I am. It's all right. We'll get it together. Much better at offense. Great blocks. There goes Chris. I mean, that was just the blocks from everybody. Not a full touchdown, but up to the 40, I'll take it. I'm getting stuck by my own running back. I couldn't move. Like I could even set my feet to throw the pass. Look at that. That's just a weird glitch. Push to him. It's all CPU now. Great tackle. 
Punching him out. Going at his ankles. I dove way too early. Stiff arm me. Like, everybody's got a stiff arm. Watch that short stuff. And we're going to get to him. Quick timeout because I want to save some clock. He's got nothing. He fumbled it. We got it. John Booker. What a big time turnover. They would have extended their lead to two scores, but Doug Mayfield popping the ball out. Just got a full send that. He's faster than everybody. Chris Graham in there. Can he go? Touchdown. One hand in the air. Flinging around. That was such a beautiful ball wipe. Phenomenal ball by Fontenot. In the pocket. Just a flick of the wrist. The air mail ends in six. Just took us eight seconds to score on that drive. I hit him. He's throwing it off of it. And that's going to be a pick for Rocket City. Got in his face. Made him throw a terrible pass. That was great work from the O-line. Way to float it. If he tried a bullet pass on that one, it would have been picked off. Just right over the head of the defender. Great hands from Lonnie Clayton. Whoops. I took too long to read. I had the running back just incredibly open. Brandon Ford, just the safety in him. And he picks up a big 14 yards. There we go, Brandon Ford. Keep running. You've been carrying us. Let's go running back. Oh, nice spin move. 23. Thought he had a chance. Cam Miller put him in the spin cycle. Very exciting stuff. What a snipe. They ran four verts on us. Uh-oh. Get the quarterback. Why did he stop? What the heck? He could have got a touchdown. No, no, no. I knew he was going to go to that guy. Tevin Carter was in the middle. Couldn't catch up to him. So we got a game tied up again. What a cut and a block downfield. Brandon Ford has been money today. Nice. Even like his like tough runs have been for like four or five yards. Oh, we're going way backwards. What the? That's not how we drew it up at all. Floating it up, and Owusu is saving the day. I did not think he was even open, but with Owusu, you always got to give him a chance. Oh, my. Cam Miller might have the best spin moves on the team. He can do it in a millisecond. Got that tight end, Chessie Gaines, and he's short of it. Got a decision to make here. I'm going for it. Just because it's been a hard-fought battle today. We might need the points. Chris Graham, and that's going to be a touchdown. Gamble pays off. Look at him chilling on the sideline. He was ready for this moment. Oh, it hit him, and he just breaks it again. Joseph, you're the last hope, and he breaks another one. This Ike Hubbard guy is huge. So now we got it tied up again. Good thing I went for it on that fourth down. We get those blocks. Can we get one downfield? Brandon Ford gets the first. Whoa, found him late. But what a strike. You can really feel that throw power boost. It gets there just a second earlier. Stick in the pocket, too. Rare for me. Dude, I'm telling you, the Cam Miller spin moves is such a fun play. Stay at home. Wait for it. I see you. J.R. Cotton. And the cut around. Does he have the speed to get there? Yes, he does. Touchdown number five for Wayne Fontenot. No. I thought we would have been in danger, but he has proved me wrong. He's been a great asset in this football game. Nowhere to pitch it. Take control of the game, defense. Oh, nearly picked. That'll be fourth down. First down. 
And he gets it. 200 rushing yards on the game. Another bomb. Can he get there? What a catch. The accuracy on display as well. What a bullet. And Josh Merrill fails us. Ryan Brown drops it. 58-yard field goal. Dude, I don't know if we can make it. We got Dave Dunlap in who has the stronger leg. Is this even worth to try it? Screw it. I say we do it. Go all in. For the boys. 58-yarder. And he gets it. What a kick. Incredible. I didn't think he had the leg for it. Oh, we get it. Devin Necro Carter gets the pick. Off the tip, and that should really seal it up. 20 turnovers on the season for the team. What a lucky play. Josh Merrill, great catch. That's their last timeout. Oh, there we go. We might get another one. We might get another touchdown because Owusu is blocking way downfield. And he's in there. Brandon Ford seals it up, breaking the school record for rushing yards in a game, taking it from Owusu. I think he'll gladly hand it over, though, because what a sensational game for Brandon Ford. And he is the future of the Rocket City running game for sure. He's the present as well. Left side, that's everybody. And that'll put the nail in the coffin right there. T. Denson, phenomenal pick there in the end zone. That one was fun. Got to experience our team with Wayne at the helm, seeing what he could do. They're happy for Wayne. The young kid getting some action. So Jeff Eaton barely played a quarter of football today. Two of three, 23 yards. And then he got injured. Wayne Fontenot stepped in and he went in pretty quickly and dominated. 16 and 27, 319 yards, five touchdowns. Impressive performance. Brandon Ford was also impressive. I'm glad he stepped up. 19 attempts, 246 yards. Yes, that is a school record. And he also got two touchdowns. Of course, that long of 90, we'll remember that for as long as he's here. Receiving Chris Graham, he's just speed is so deadly. Five attempts, five catches, 152 yards, two touchdowns. Merrill got a touchdown, and so did J.R. Cotton and Cam Miller with a nice spin move. Samuel Wusu, though, seven pancakes. I can't say it enough. He's an all-around player, and it fellow coaches are really going to like that. Only two sacks today, Doug Mayfield and Travis Nicholson, but we did get three interceptions. Jordan Greer, T. Denson, and Devin Carter. Dave Dunlap hit a late-game field goal, 58-yarder. Very impressive. I had a lot of fun with that one. Like switching it up from a scrambler to a pocket passer, definitely different types of gameplay. But it helps me like slow down and be more relaxed in the pocket, that's for sure. Got another recruit. Oh, but Robbie Harwell commits to Alabama. The enemy. He would have been a good player. But we got a lot of great receivers here at Rocket City. We'll manage. So we set out to get three corner recruits this year, and we got all three of them. Donald Dahl is the lowest of the bunch but he's still pretty solid like he'll be a nice role player of course montrell and trevarius ward will be the stars and not only that we also got nick dorsey so we're loaded at corner now just like that just one off season can do it defensive coordinator has an upgrade what do we add it to let's go with injury resistance and increase to stamina just because i don't want my guys to get tired boom we just got two more recruits recruits have just been falling in our lap this episode aaron gibson 80 overall tight end he is a juco transfer three star but he looks like he could play right away which is kind of what we need we got some developmental guys but this guy will be a nice addition dominic easily he's got the 87 spec catch 85 speed he's also got the 81 throw power 82 accuracy i don't think we're going to need another quarterback so that will not be his role most likely it's likely going to be a receiver with the catch and traffic the spec catch and route running and release not the fastest guy in the world but i think he'll be a nice player and that sets us as the 20th best recruiting class in the country very strong season for us oh kansas did lose man that rocketed him down even below us poor kansas but as we thought we don't really have a strong chance of making the college football playoff we're currently ranked number 13 in those polls alabama might sneak in there especially if they beat florida crazy to think though we beat a team in the college football playoff our rivals this year so that really shows how good we could be. Just got to build our team even more. It looks like we're going to be playing Troy in the Sun Belt Championship. Very close for Anthony Burks there. I thought he was going to be able to make it. We did already play them. We have not played Troy yet this year. They're a higher rated team than us though, so it should be interesting. But anyways, that's pretty much all I got for this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, Big Old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in the conference championship. Peace.